Hello and good morning. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give my apologies for not being able to be with you today. Um, I'm actually attending my daughter's graduation ceremony, which they uh, kindly arranged on the same day as our uh, biannual training event. I just want to spend a few minutes just giving you a bit of an insight into what we're going to be talking to you about today and just to give you a little bit of my take on the key priorities for the academic year ahead. We've not had a funding increase on last year, but that's not all bad. Many suppliers have lost 20% of their funding as the Skills Funding Agency continue to wield an axe in certain areas of their uh, funding operations. Traineeships are a vital key that will secure the future of the company over the coming months. I'm sure you'll get some detail on that later on, but I think it's important that I emphasise that Traineeships are going to help us secure the future of the whole business. So it's important that everybody makes their contribution. So whether it's delivering mass, English, IT or employability, hitting our traineeships target is going to guarantee that we're going to be able to do that in the years to come. External apprenticeships, and by external I mean those with employers outside of Business Advice Direct, will flow from traineeships. So a five or six week traineeship will hopefully in many cases lead to an apprenticeship with an external employer. Our strength as a maths and English specialist is also key. I've actually today been attending a strategic suppliers event in Sheffield with the five top Learn Direct suppliers and we are one of the, the leading amongst that small group and certainly leading amongst Learn Direct suppliers nationally. So we need to continue that good work. Another key change for 2014 to 15 is the fact that getting learners into work can now secure extra funding. So not only is it an important key performance indicator in terms of impressing Learn Direct, but it actually gets us in some cases 10 to 15 percent additional funding on top of some of our learning programs. Fiona will let you more, have more information about that later on. You'll also hear today about the funding cap. It's a pain in the backside, but it's probably here to stay. You'll have the reasons explained why it's been introduced, and you'll have the, 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 the ways and methods that we've planned to try and minimise the impact of that on our funding performance. At the coal face where most of you are, Centres should be maximising their use of our apprentices and apprentices should be exploiting their career opportunity with Business Advice Direct. Beth's going to say a few things about this later on but I want you to remember that a team of four or five staff in the centre, albeit some of them sometimes newly joined apprentices, is a significant increase and it's down for you to use that resource to make our centres perform even better than they have been doing. So if you are an apprentice working for us, we hope that many of you will still be with us in years to come. But if you're not, please exploit the opportunity you have with us and at the very least we'd like to send you on your way with an excellent reference, some excellent information in your CV from the work that you've done with us and some pleasant memories. As far as centres are concerned, Make sure you take Beth's guidance on getting the apprentices to gain as much experience as they possibly can doing as wide a variety of tasks as possible. There's a lot of excellent work being carried out in centres by tutors, by apprentices and by learner recruiters. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for your hard work in 2013 to 2014. The apprentice team will be growing. One area where we can expand our funding is in the area of apprenticeships and in the area of traineeships. So there will be new members of staff joining us gradually over the year. Another change is we're introducing an individual delivery plan for every centre. We want these individual delivery plans to take account of local conditions, the number of staff you have, the experience of the staff, the ease with which we can get 
good or poor numbers of learners recruited from lo local referrers such as Job Centre Plus, and a wide variety of other factors. Fiona will be going into detail with you about these today and over the coming months. We're also going to be introducing more transparent management and departmental targets. So I'm hoping that all of the centres are going to be able to see what it is that's motivating and making the management team tick and what each department needs to do in order to help the business sustain itself and to grow. Especially as I've not been able to be with you today, I'll be paying all of the centres a visit in the near future. And when I let each centre know that I'm coming, I'd like you to scribble a few notes. I'm going to give you a chance to ask questions, make suggestions, tell me about breast practice and have a moan. So the one thing I'd ask you to do when I pop along for an informal chat with you as a group is to make sure that you don't bring a blank piece of paper to this sh short meeting we're going to have. Just throw some ideas at me. Whether it's a better way of making sure that the learners uh, clean their mugs or whether it's something about how mucky the centre is or whether you've got some really good promotional ideas or something that you think we can try. Just throw anything at me when I pay you the visit. That's about it for me before I hand over to a human being. But as a bit of a thank you, we haven't done this for a while, on Friday the 19th of September, we'll be having a social event. It'll be a daytime and optional evening. Details to follow, and hopefully that'll be good fun and a chance for us to get together in a slightly less formal atmosphere than we are gathered here together today. Thanks very much for attending. I hope you find today rewarding and informative.